Well, we've had a pretty big week for Oasis fans. On New Year's Eve 2023, Noel Gallagher released a brand new demo called In A Little While. Then, on the 5th of January, Liam Gallagher and former Stone Roses guitarist John Squire released the first single from their upcoming collaborative album too. The song is called Just Another Rainbow, and judging by the midweek charts at least, Liam might be en route to his first ever UK number one single as a solo artist. There has been a hugely divided reaction to this song online. The John Squire penned lyrics have been mocked a little bit, while the John Squire guitar solo has been praised a lot, including by me. To my ear at least, the songwriting of this song sits pretty much slap bang in the middle of the Stone Roses debut and their second coming album. And I can't say for sure, but it sounds to my ear at least like John Squire is running his lead guitar through a Leslie, like he did for Blinded by the Sun by the Seahorses. One of the most mocked moments in the song is a breakdown halfway through, where Liam sings through the colours of the rainbow. I did think it was quite funny the first time I heard it, but I also think I kind of get what Squire was trying to do here. Do you remember the line, We can have it all, easy peasy, from the Stone Roses song, One Love? Some of the lyrics from the original Stone Roses era did kind of have a sort of goofy teenage simplicity about them. So I wonder if this could be John Squire kind of harking back a little bit to that quite innocent songwriting style. I personally reckon you have to listen to a song at least three times from start to finish to properly appreciate it. And after I did my customary three listens, I knew that I really liked this song. Not just because the refrain has been going round and round in my head for days, but also because of the way it's been put together. Not like a multi-layered, heavily textured, elaborate studio creation, but like a proper, actual band. If you look on the back of the sleeve, there are just four musicians listed. The song is arranged with similarities to the style of the original Stone Roses as well. There are brilliant, groove-driven drums, a really melodic bass line that's a little bit reminiscent of Waterfall, and John Squire's guitar is given loads of room in the mix to breathe. I love how sparse it is as well. In this day and age, it takes a set of bollocks to go into the studio and let a four-piece band actually sound like a four-piece band, because so much stuff is so heavily produced today. Just Another Rainbow could be easily performed live with one drummer, one bass player, one guitarist and one vocalist, and as a bit of a rock snob, I love that. The lyrics don't sound like typical Liam lyrics, because they're not. They're written by John Squire, and they're far more in his tradition and style. And in that context, for anyone who knows his stuff, they fit. I think this is a tune. It's a really exciting shift in direction, and personally, I can't wait for the rest of the album. And, hopefully, some more John Squire lead guitar work as well. So, if you're in the UK and you haven't ordered a physical copy of the single yet, you've got until midnight Thursday to do it, to help push this song up the charts and into the pole position. It's currently at number four in the midweek update chart, but if enough of us get behind it and buy a physical copy, we could play a part in helping push it to the top. I've been banging on for years now on this channel about wanting to see British rock and roll back at the top of the charts. And right now, Liam really is kind of leading the charge, so let's get behind him and push for that number one spot. Let me know what you think of this song in the comments below, but do me a favour and don't just write the word shite if you haven't given it a decent few listens. And I realise that by saying that, I'm just inviting a million comments that only say the one word shite. But seriously, give it a few listens, it's a great track. And now on to Noel's new tune, which is called In A Little While. While Liam's track is like a psychedelic box of chocolates, Noel's is much more raw, intimate and acoustic. But, my God, Noel is back. Personally, I couldn't really click with the kind of space rock phase in 2017, but since Council Skies, perhaps only with the exception of Pretty Boy, I've just been standing back and basking in the music. This new song is a gorgeous acoustic moment, which is different to, but in a similar vein, to Dead to the World. I'll be honest, it had been many years for me since a Noel song gave me goosebumps, but since he started work on Council Skies up to the present day, the master craftsman really is back. 
As a songwriter, Noel has rediscovered his mastery of chord sequences and is creating right now, frankly, some of the best stuff he's ever written. You can hear some of this new, interesting chord experimentation on the song he released just before this one, which is a cover of Love Will Tear Us Apart. And this isn't bad, it's okay, but it's nowhere near as good as this new original. But, thankfully, gone are the days of bashing an E minor chord for four minutes straight. And yes, I am being a bit of a prick saying that, but credit where credit is due, this new track really is excellent. Noel apparently has two new albums in the works, one of which will be mostly acoustic, and one of which will be rocked up a bit and a bit closer to the style of Oasis. I expect in a little while we'll potentially end up on the acoustic album, and I'm really looking forward to hearing it in its finished form. The lyrics to this song are brilliant as well, very self-reflective, and he seems to be talking about how he's a bit of a musical magpie, drawing inspiration from the greats of the past. Here's the chorus. Interesting set of chorus lyrics there, don't you think? Read into them what you will. The true sign of a master craftsman in the world of songwriting is that the chords, lyrics and melody all complement each other and work together in complete unison to deliver a kind of immersive emotional response to the listener. Distracting lyrics break that spell. A distracting discordant moment on the guitar breaks that spell. Shitty, monotonous, uncreative melodies with just one or two notes also break that spell. This new song, for all its quiet simplicity, seems to have all three elements in just the right balance. While Love Will Tear Us Apart was okay, this is great and it has no distracting or divisive moments. This track is a perfect example of why I think it's so bloody stupid that the British record industry is really biased in favour of teenagers and people in their 20s. It takes a lifetime of refining your craft to be able to compose like this. I wonder how much brilliant music we've already missed out on simply because the person who wrote it wasn't in their 20s. Vocally as well, this demo is yet another place where in recent years Noel's singing has started to come to the fore. And, oh happy day, on this demo it doesn't sound like Noel's vocals are auto-tuned. Or, if they are, it's only very, very subtle. The vocal take is full of soul and really natural, just how we like it. It's a bit hard to say which one is better of these two tracks. They're both great in different ways. The overwhelming feeling I got, however, when listening to these two tracks in the space of a week was, can you imagine if we had a Noel written song with Liam on vocals and John Squire on guitar? I'm not sure it could get much better than that, except perhaps if Johnny Marr was in the mix somewhere as well. Anyway, that is my take on the latest two releases from the Gallagher camps. I don't say stuff like this if I don't think it, and I've let many releases pass just without comment. But in my opinion, both of these tracks really are exciting. 2024 is lining up to be one of the best years for British rock and roll in a very long time. Exciting times ahead, I hope. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on these two tracks in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.